Okay, it's experiment time. I'm about to decommission this boiler and replace it with a peerless. So I wanted to do this test for a long time, and that is, what does the Hartford Loop do exactly, and how can it save your boiler? When would it save your boiler? So this boiler is steaming. We're getting our condensation back at the normal rate. The water level is about where it normally is. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to simulate a leak in the wet return. And I have um, jumpered out the uh, low water cutoff. Low water cutoff is the real hero of a uh, heating system when it comes to safety for a boiler. Um, but uh, we're going to see what the Hartford Loop has to do with this whole process by uh, simulating this leak. There it goes. That's my um, that's the water from the wet return. And it's also the new condensation condensate water that's coming into it. And it's going to take the water level of the boiler to right about here, which is the level that the Hartford Loop protects it. I guess you could say that's the water that's the level the Hartford Loop keeps the water at if there's a leak in the wet return. And you can see the water level has dropped to that level. And um, so I started that leak at about a minute and 30 into this video. And uh, if we watch what happens here, we can see the rate of the condensate water, roughly if I don't jiggle the hose too much. It's really just a trickle. But it's relentless. If the boiler's running, this much water is uh, leaving the boiler chamber via steam and is uh, condensing up in the uh, system and then returning as uh, condensate water. But it doesn't return into the boiler when there's a leak. It returns into the wet return, and then it goes out the leak. So that's where the failure of the Hartford Loop is. It's supposed to protect against this kind of uh, problem, right? That's its job. And so how good of a job is it going to do? Well, we're losing water here. We can see we're another uh, inch or, or more lower than when we started the leak. And it's only been a minute and a half, two minutes. So the idea is the Hartford Loop is going to protect your boiler from a dry fire, right? Well, let's think about, while we're watching the water level lower, let's think about the activity of a boiler in the winter time. You know, it comes on for a call to heat cycle, and that, uh, I don't know, that cycle might last, I don't know, it might take... 10 to 20 minutes to get the water, to get the steam into the system, and then it might run for another, I don't know, what do you say, 10 minutes to a half hour to an hour? I mean, it depends on how cold it is out, how long it's going to keep running, or how often it's going to run before it fulfills that call for heat. And if someone turns up the thermostat in the morning, you know it's going to run for quite a while before it gets that temperature up there. So you're in one of these calls for heat and you get this leak in your uh, wet return. It's in your basement. I mean, I don't spend a whole lot of time down here. The idea is that while the thing is running during this time that the Hartford Loop provides you, you're going to be able to notice this leak and do something about it as a homeowner, right? I mean, I do a lot with my steam system. I'm down here way more than any other homeowner I've ever met. And I'm still not down here that often. If I get a leak in my wet return, and if the low water cutoff doesn't catch it, I know, I know damn well I'm going to start smelling a fire. 
and the water is down to about an inch above the fixture here and it's been about three and a half minutes. Now this is a small boiler and it has not very much water in the in the boiler chamber there. That's true. But also it's a small boiler and it doesn't produce steam nearly as uh, at a volume that a larger boiler would. So a larger boiler is going to have much, you know more gallons of water in its in its boiling chamber, whatever you call it. But it's also going to create steam way faster than this boiler. So I assume that the uh, I think the time is going to be kind of similar. And the water is dropping down. It's going to it's got like maybe I've got maybe two inches until I get to the bottom of this pipe here. And I don't really want to have it dry firing. It's, it could cause a fire or it could uh, crack my boiler, which I'm taking it out of service anyway, so. But I don't really want, you know, the temperature, the temperature of that firing chamber area is going to rise dramatically when the water is gone. And I don't want that. So I'm going to shut this experiment down. I can see the water level just in the glass now. It's about to drop. And the rate, the rate of the water condensing has stayed the same throughout this experiment, of course. That's the firing rate of the boiler. And it's been now five minutes. So five minutes, my leak has been leaking. You got five minutes. That's what the Hartford Loop gives you. So, if that makes you sleep at night, I guess that's good. But uh, I don't think the Hartford Loop is doing a damn thing. <laughs>